recent data released by the CDC found almost 15 percent of children were treated for mental health disorders in 2021. As mental health affects more teens, one organization is hoping to teach educators and child care providers how to help. And Southeast Service Cooperative hosted a conference today on youth mental health. KIMT News 3's Max Haslow was there for us today. Max, tell us more. Well, Justin Tyler, there were dozens of teachers, public health workers, and child care professionals from across southeast Minnesota there, and all of them spent hours learning everything they could to better support the kids in their care. The conference focused on showing attendees how to recognize signs and symptoms of mental health issues like anxiety, depression, and ADHD. They are also taught how to better understand trauma and create an action plan to help the child through their struggles. According to the conference coordinator, recent events have only caused a bigger spike in mental health issues. The impact of the pandemic and um, various different traumas that our youth are, are experiencing and we're definitely seeing an increase so that's why this course is so important to equip everybody. I also had the chance to speak with some of the people at the seminar. They tell me they're taking the advice to heart and they think the information could benefit all educators. All right, thank you, Max. The event coordinator says one of the best ways to see if someone is struggling with mental health is to look for warning signs. Yeah, also, if you notice any long lasting negative changes in a child's thoughts or behavior, experts say don't be afraid to reach out for help.